Hello everybody and welcome to Call of Duty News Network CWO London Recap. Another event, another controversy involving LG. From using a gun that can wall bank through anything to win Fort Worth, to being a part of the most controversial control game this year at London, Luminosity are quickly becoming Call of Duty's anti-heroes. So to set the scene, FaZe and Luminosity are tied 1-1 in the series, and this happens in the last round of the control on map 3 Seaside. It's a 2v2, Sal and Zuma, they're in and amongst it, Zuma finds one flash with the slam! And to save, my goodness, but I think the zone did the, I don't even know what happened there. Now if you couldn't tell what happened, FaZe capped the point right before Slack gets the last two members of FaZe with a grab slam and it gave Luminosity the win. Apparently this is due to a bug in the game where if the defenders kill all of the attackers right after capping a point, it ends up counting as a round win for the defense instead. After a review done by MLG, Luminosity was granted the win, and with one of the EU's most popular players on FaZe, you can imagine the London crowd's reaction. Will drop down. What do we think of LG? Shit. What do we think of shit? LG. Thank you. I crunched the numbers and found that Luminosity has robbed a total of $52,500 in prize money for both Splice and Phase combined between their two controversial series at Fort Worth and London. To me, that sounds like the very definition of GG, no re. Moving on to our next story, I'd like to talk about one of the best storylines from London, E United's run. The storylines start to come out when E United played EG, who had picked up their former teammate JCAT for a spot in the winner's bracket. E United ended up beating EG, sending them down to the loser's bracket, but weren't far behind as E United was also knocked down to losers in 3-0 fashion by 100 Thieves. Once E United got to the loser's bracket, they had to play Midnight, who had their own coach. After winning that series, which got a little heated, E United didn't drop a map until finals against 100 Thieves, which they lost 3-1. Here's some highlights from that grand finals. Thieves, yeah. they are so trapped in, and there's the flick, and there's the house arm! What is that shot? Are you kidding me, Simp? Oh, you know he's challenging. You know he's challenging. The young god! Four are going to drop, 100 Thieves now just have to hold on, the final ticks in, map one in, 100 Thieves should have the victory, but Simp gets three, Simp gets four, dancing, dipping, diving, and somehow, somehow they keep it alive, and now we have to look to the other side of the map, the race is on, Clayster's able to get in, but it's too little, too late, and 100 Thieves strike first. He's the X Factor for this team. And well, one streak's gonna be responded by another. Wow. is gonna find three. Wow. Four. He's gonna find four. four. And now, now if you're Pristini, he's gonna find three as well. It's just raining missiles. All five down for 100 Thieves. Your open bracket champions this weekend are none other than Australia's own Mind Freak. Mind Freak has provided the community with very entertaining Astro Gaming listenings ever since World War II. Fuck you! Let's go, boys! I I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating. Oh, yeah, Mitch, I'm coming. <laughs> okay, get us out of the Astro listening! You are crazy, you Australian! Seems this trend has carried over into BO4 as I present to you the most Australian ending to a Call of Duty game I have ever seen. We made weak, we made weak, close, we made weak, close. Nice. nice. I got full one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Nice, boys. Good fucking shit, boys. Good fucking shit, boys. Good fucking shit. Let's fucking go, cunts. Our last story is a bonus. It doesn't have anything to do with CWL London itself, but I thought it was interesting enough to put in anyways. It looks like our old friend Supreme Agility has popped up on the internet again recently, as he is selling his GB account on eBay for $900. His reasoning behind the high price is that there are $1,500 in prize claims that the buyer can cash out that Supreme Agility can't because apparently it's illegal to do so where he lives. Looks like the mystery behind Supreme Agility lives on to this very day. Well that does it for our CWL London recap. Congratulations to 100 Thieves on the event win, and of course, thanks for watching.